What's going on everybody? So the big question is, should the Chicago Bulls be panicking after getting blown out on their home court by the Boston Celtics? And the answer is yes. I know people are going to be saying, no, you know, like I said, I made a video previously when they went up 2-0. When the Bulls went up 2-0 and Rajon Rondo was there, and I know that, he, you know, he has that caliber. He doesn't usually get a lot of credit. He's like, you know, kind of has the, um, the portrayal of a guy that's a nuisance. He's very um, adverse to, you know, coaching and stuff like that. He's had major problems at several stations where he's landed. But when he's playing, he plays very, very well. And that's a major, that's such a huge loss for the Bulls, and he's gonna be out for a couple weeks. I believe he said the doctor said he's gonna be out for a couple weeks. So with that going on, and the Bulls not really able to flow with their offense, because Butler and Dwayne Wade can get their own shot, okay? Um, you know, I had a lot of good things to say about Lopez. I like their foundation, but I do think that this is an issue. You can't get blown out in game three on your home court. You can lose a game. But it's all about the way that you lose the game. Now, I'm not saying that this absolutely means that the Celtics will come back and win the series. What I'm saying is people are underestimating the importance of Rondo. That, that's my whole thing here. You see, when you it's like LeBron James. LeBron James is a small... The, the, thing, the thing about LeBron James that makes him so unique is that he's a small forward that can play a point guard position. When you're able to get your guys involved and do those things... You know what I'm saying? Like a Magic Johnson, those type of guys. And I'm not saying that Ray John Rondo is in neither one of those players, uh, LeBron James or Magic Johnson's realm of ga you know, gameplay. What I'm saying is you need a facilitator. And Ray John Rondo, play, you know, he's been playing good defense. He's been rebounding the ball. He's been doing specific things that have been integral to the, to the success of the Bulls. And I just don't think that without that piece of being able to get that part, they're going to be the same team. Now, I could be wrong, but I'm usually right when I see key guys being down. For instance, breaking news, Blake Griffin is out for the remainder of the playoffs with the um, the LA Clippers. They're not going anywhere. Chris Paul can't do it by himself. And the other guys that are on the team, they don't usually step up and make plays. Yeah, they're up against the Jazz, but who cares about... The Jazz sucks. Now, I'm not worried about all that. What I'm saying is missing key players, just like in any other sport... It, this is not a game. It's five guys on the court. You know, in football, you could probably hide one guy by, by you know, spreading the field and doing certain things or whatever, depending on who the guy is. Obviously, you can't replace, you know, Randy Moss or T.O. and stuff like that. You can't. Don't, don't, I'm not talking about stuff like that. Calvin Johnson, those guys. But you can do a lot more because it's 11 players on the field. Basketball, I'm telling you right now, Rondo being out hurts the Bulls more than anything else. I understand Dwayne Wade is there. I understand Butler, Lopez, all these boys. I understand all that. It's not the same team. They don't play the same way. It's completely different. I look. I thought the Bulls would win this game if Ranja, if, if Raja Wand, uh, Rondo would have would have played. He, they would have definitely won this game. I have no doubt in my mind. I know that you probably say, "Oh, yo, bro, look at the blowout." Look, I don't give a f about all that. I'm telling you right now. People always seem to underestimate. The role players like I'm not saying that R Rondo was not what he was when he was a Boston Celtic and even when he was doing this thing back then he didn't get a lot of credit but what I'm saying is the mode that he was in and the way that they were playing in the first two games of this series regardless of the unfortunate incident that happened um you know with Isaiah Thomas and his sister they played very very well keep in mind nobody gave the Bulls a shot to beat the Celtics in game one well not most people other than their fans you know what I'm saying? If you watch the TNT and all that stuff like that, both Shaquille O'Neal and Charles Barkley, oh, they don't have a shot because of what happened with Isaiah Thomas' sister, and the Bulls went out there and handled business. They followed up by handling business again in game two. That that wasn't like something that was luck. That was a system of play that was using Rajon Rondo as a facilitator. Him not being there is a very, very bad thing. I do now predict that I don't think the Bulls are going to win game four. I think the Celtics are going to tie it up on their home court and then go back home and win again. Listen, I'm just letting you guys understand something. That's the way the tides turn. That's why I'm always for these athletes getting their money. Because one injury, yo, you're done. And then, they, you know, the management thinks about it however. Like, yo, maybe we should get rid of this guy. That's the way they view the players. So that's why I always say you can't hate on these athletes trying to, you know, not play and do whatever to get their money. Because look at this injury right now. Look how much it hurts. This is a major thing. This this could be a reason why they released Ray John Rondo. Meanwhile, when he was playing, they, they were formidable. But the playoffs are the playoffs. And that's all that matters right now. And the way that it looks, 
it appears based on the way that the Celtics were so dominant that they just might go back and win game four at the Bulls and then go home and win at Boston. Like this is really turned around in the Celtics favor at this point, even though they're currently down 2-1. Let me know what you guys and girls are thinking. I'll see you guys next time. One love.